<laughs> we are up at Harrison Hills ATV Trail in Gleason, Wisconsin today. We've got Crossfire Jason with me back there. I guess XL Jason in the summertime, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even fallen off yet. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm having to remember how to ride this bike. This has got a, a small amount more power and torque than the than the TW that I've been riding so much. I figured uh, I should probably get this bike out so you guys don't think that I sold it. And uh, I've kind of decided that I probably need to, to make a video about uh, about the fact that I don't actually dislike my Tenere 700. It seems like there's a, a number of people out there that are a little bit confused by that, which I guess if you're only seeing the, the videos uh, where I'm talking about the, the three most annoying things about the Tenere or the six things that I woo, dislike about my Tenere, then uh, I guess I could I could see if you, if you saw those titles and thumbnails and didn't actually maybe watch more than 30 seconds of the video, uh, you could you could think that I don't like my, my Tenere, and then I'm just all negative and angry at the world, but that is absolutely not the case. I absolutely love this motorcycle. I think it's I think it's still probably my favorite. The TW is quickly becoming a, a very close second, and I've really been enjoying that. But I, uh, I definitely do uh, my fair share of negative videos, and if you're kind of new to the channel and don't watch my regular content, I think for the guys that watch my regular content, you probably don't need to hear any of this because you you know that I, I love my I love my motorcycles and getting out and, and doing this, and I'm very happy with them, but I'm also try to be a, as much of a realist as possible because when I'm looking at buying something new, especially something that I might not actually even be able to sit on until I've already put money down on it and signed paperwork, uh, I want to know the the bad stuff about it, not just all the good stuff that, of course, Yamaha and seems like everybody else that owns one of these talks about. You want to want to know the negative stuff. So I try to put out content like that when, when I can think of it and uh, full disclosure, it does much better for me than videos where I talk about how much I love the stuff that I ride because, well, it seems like most people are <laughs> great gravitate towards negative things, sadly, and even though that, that seems to be the case, I always still try to keep things as light and happy as possible, and I'm sure happy to be out here today. What a nice day, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rockier than I expected it to be. Yeah, and this place in general is always kind of like that in places, and then there'll be a section where they just came and filled, you know, dropped a bunch of fill over the top of it, and then it'll be smoother. So while I, I do definitely stand by all the negative things that I've said about this bike, uh, they are, are, are very, very minuscule compared to the, the, the rest of the, what this bike has to offer. I mean, this, this is just an awesome do-it-all machine. Uh, I really always enjoyed my KLR, uh, more so off-road than on, and uh, if you guys are on a bike like that or looking at a bike like that, and you think maybe you want something a little bit faster and more fun on the road, uh, I mean, this is definitely a, a great option. And I think if, if you're somebody that's going to need a second bike uh, for road riding, if you're not going to be happy with just a thumper, then having something like the Tenere might actually end up saving you some money because you don't have to have that separate bike to keep up. So if any of you had any question out there uh, whether or not I actually like my Tenere, the, the answer is a, a very definite yes. I mean, there is there's always stuff to complain about on any motorcycle really and like I said I think it's important to be upfront about that stuff most of the time when people talk about the Tenere all they ever say is how great it is and uh, I don't disagree with that at all I mean it is it is a great bike it is a lot of fun on the trail it is a lot of fun on the road and it's really just kind of a a, a bit of a unicorn machine in the in the sense that it's a, a bike that can hang with the the big almost twenty thousand dollar machines yet it's you know half the price of that and uh, if you're able to find one for sale, uh, they're definitely something that I, I think you will will enjoy no matter what your intent for it is. I've seen people that do buy them to do just very, very light off-roading and mostly road riding, and I think the motor in it is definitely worthy of uh, of that, and uh, I think could can definitely justify a purchase that is going to be used for that, but especially for somebody like me that's going to ride this on the road, even though uh, today we did take the trailer up here. <clears throat> uh, Woo, but also want to be able to rip on trails. It, it's a blast and I, I get a lot of people that ask why instead of buying a $10,000 road bike that I hardly ever ride on the road and only really bought to take off road, you know, why don't I spend that money on something like a Honda uh, 450? And I mean, I would like to check, I'd like to get on a bike like that someday, but I do own a light, a light bike. Actually, the, the bike that's following me used to be mine. And uh, when I sold that, I was 
sorely missing it until I bought that TW. And I, I love my light dual sport. I love cruising around it. But for trails like this, honestly, I, I really prefer the Tenere just because it's a, a bit more of a challenge. Must be doing something here. They just widen the road out, I guess? Yeah, it's weird. I didn't know where we were at first. Now I'm getting warm. Beams. Yeah, yeah, I got dark <laughs> for a minute there. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this thing definitely has the, the suspension to, to do jumps like that. It did take a little bit of fiddling with at first to get it to, to not bottom for me. And I'm like 160 some pounds with all my gear on it more than that. But uh, for me anyway, I mean, this suspension actually really is is very adequate i would say obviously i'm not a pro motocross rider so i you know i only take this thing to to a certain limit but i think uh in general i think most people my my weight range will do just fine with the stock suspension and people complain about it but that is definitely not something that that i guess i i would say is is going to be an issue unless you're a, a heavier heavier guy or gal you said that you haven't bottomed that at all out at all yet have you no I'm not riding quite as fast as you either. Yeah, I think it's funny when we ride sleds, I can't keep up with you and on bike. Uh, yeah, I thought that too. It's like, so that's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, and this thing off-road, it really is pretty amazing. The anti-squat rear, woo! Mixed with all the power that this thing has is just like a perfect combination. Uh, I am by no means an expert on a bike, but I can slide the back end out on this way easier than any other bike that I've ever been on. Uh, and I'm still not good at it, but I can do it. Woo, that was dumb. <laughs> Almost launched myself sideways off a jump. It does have enough torque that, especially on wet trails, it can get away from you pretty quick, which I definitely like. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're looking at this for a, a first motorcycle, eh, I guess if you're a cautious enough person that you're not gonna get yourself into trouble, I guess maybe it's worth considering. But uh, this thing does have some power on the road anyways. I'm never, never really happy with the speed of anything. Stuff could always go a little faster for me, but it it's definitely uh, quenched my thirst for any sort of road bike, uh, for sure. And personally, anyway, uh, I would not be afraid to stick some whoa, really knobby tires on a bike like this. The Mototaz Tractionator Adventures that I've got on here do absolutely excellent on everything, uh, both on and off-road. I really never wish that I had anything uh, smoother for the road and I guess maybe that's just me because I'm not really not really into into road riding all that much and just haven't been anything other than a knobby in a long time but I have no complaints of them at all in fact I think on the, the corners on the county roads that have gravel all spit up on them I think these tires actually feel a lot more at home and I'm not afraid to lean it over a bit but of course you gotta make your own decision with that and make sure you take it easy at first and learn the ropes on them because they do act of course different than a, a street tire will hey this trail is not what i expected <laughs> it's what not what you expected no just how hilly and I mean, it's, i thought it'd be more like a logging road type of thing but it's pretty pretty hilly and rough yeah it's a it's a pretty crazy trail that's that's neat yeah definitely worth the trip if you haven't been here that's for sure good workout too <laughs> yeah my hands are gonna be sore <laughs> Actually, back when I had the uh, the old KLR, I once put out two videos within like a week of each other. One was three things that I don't like about my KLR, three reasons not to buy a KLR, and three reasons I love my KLR. And uh, that's been at least like probably three, four years now. Uh, one video has, I think, over 100,000 views. And the other one has, I think, like 13,000 views. I'll let you guess which is which, and that's exactly the reason that I do, woo, do the kind of negative videos every once in a while and uh, I can't say that I don't like doing them I mean like I said earlier I think it's important to get that information out there look how beautiful this is but uh, I mean it, it also does help the channel out and I uh, I have completely been able to fund uh, this motorcycle that I feel very lucky to to have and to own and to be able to take to places like this uh, funded it completely off of off of YouTube money so 
maybe you don't like what I'm doing, but it works for me and there are definitely people out there that seem like they do appreciate it and understand that I do love my Tenere, but sometimes you gotta, woo, you gotta talk about the bad with the good so people know what they're getting. That might inspire some negative comments once in a while, but hey, that's all right. I really appreciate the majority of you guys that, that watch this and really anybody that takes the time to watch and appreciate all the, the positivity and the, the good stuff that I get from the, from the channel and from you guys. So big thanks to all of you. I think I lost Jason. Okay, I gotta stop and take my oh sweatshirt off under my coat here. I'm getting a little toasty. Woo! That seems like a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I get like the director's. <laughs> yeah, I should. Shouldn't I? <laughs> Could probably fit it in the bag. And the other nice thing about this is I don't have to empty it out to carry a case of beer home. I can just lengthen these <laughs> lengthen these straps and throw it right on the top. Works good. <laughs> is that in your review? It is right at the end. <laughs> I, I didn't know how they'd feel, but nobody said anything, so. <laughs> some wet boots uh after the jump that you're coming up on there's a there's a lake after it just so you know can you hear me yeah barely some more lake access there's a big a big jump and a lake after it oh. <laughs> yep that's it <laughs> so for you guys that that own a tenere is there anything that i missed as far as uh complaints or uh or positive things too Ooh, there's a small tree hanging over the almost the whole trail there don't get leaves in the face. I think I, I pretty much covered everything in videos that, that I really really don't like and really do like about it. There's definitely some stuff like the exhaust that I think is a, is a major issue anyways unless you're going to put panniers on it. And uh, definitely something that I, I think is worth spending the money to fix with either the, the Camel ADV or the, the Hulzar kit. But other than that, I mean, you really, you can pretty much ride this bike right out of the box. The, the tires, I guess, which, I mean, the, I don't think there's any motorcycle that really comes, any dual sport anyways, or adventure bike that comes with tires that, that anybody that does any serious off-roading is gonna wanna keep, or even any light off-roading. I think it's it's always worth sticking some some more meaty tires on. Kinda like buying a truck. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, they all they all come set up to to go off-road as far as the suspension and the four-wheel drive and whatever, but the the tires are meant for highway use. Gotta love the sound of the Tenere. <laughs> that does sound nice with that pipe in there. Yeah, the stock pipe has a nice grunt to it, but as soon as you get going faster than like 20 miles an hour, you can't hear it at all. Like even when you first started it, it sounded really nice. Yeah, I like it. Oh, this is kind of neat. They got this all cleared away like that. Woo. Yeah, I definitely like getting out and exploring other places, but I think this is still my favorite place to ride. The Perkinstown Trail is a, a pretty close second because the woods is so neat, but these are awesome trails. All right, guys, well, I think we'll probably call that a day for the video. Thanks for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more positive Tenere 700 content and some, some TW action too. Woo. Make sure you get out and enjoy this beautiful world for yourself if you can. But hey, if you can't, check out some more videos off the side here. Take care, stay safe, and stay swanky. You good? Yeah. <laughs> 
one of the bigger rocks that you would want to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> but it handled it pretty well, actually. <laughs>